you know, with the untimely death of, of Maxim, you expressed like that people didn't understand how lethal boxing was. I just like wonder if you could like shed a little light on what you meant with that post. Um, at the end of the day, man, you know, uh, you know, you know, we t we we take a lot of punishment, and people just think it's all fun and games. Like it's just a fight. It's more than just a fight. It only takes one shot, and we can die, yeah. as you can see. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, I just I just I just I, I just wish my people would just, you know, appreciate that more. And, and you know, uh, sometimes they don't, but at the end of the day, I take care of so many and I do do so much for so many. Sometimes they, they start to think that I'm obligated to do it and I'm not. I know? understand that. Do you think something, I mean, on, on, on the tip of the, the, the fatal, like how fatal it is, how dangerous the sport is, do you think something needs to change in boxing? I mean, in like... Hell no, ain't nothing got to change. I mean, you know, you know, because, you know, it's, it's a part about, you know, growing up, you know, um, who your teacher is and, you know, what he taught you, you know, because when I grew up, you know, my coach, Mike Stafford, you know, the first thing he taught me was defense. Right. You know? And that's why my career is still lasting as long as it is, you know. I don't get touched that much, you know. I hear you. His trainer was trying to throw him the towel. He was begging him to do it. Should he have gotten pulled out of there earlier? Is there, do, in um, your opinion? It's kind of hard because, because as a fighter, I know how it goes, and and the trainer can only say so much. He he's on the outside looking in. He might see some things, but as a fighter, it's like, nah, don't stop this fight. You don't want that's the last so, thing a fighter wants is yeah. for you to throw it into.